Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with some more music reactions, and welcome back to Smitty Reacts. Now, on this video, we're gonna go back and check out some more Ginger. Now, the name of this song is Perennial, and it's a live recording from 2019, and I'm definitely here to check it out. Um, I, I definitely wanted to see kind of what else they can really do on, in a live stage, live setting, um, obviously with the live crowd, <laughs> and kind of see what they're able to do. Um, so before I get started on this thing, a couple of quick things. Um, I already got my tickets to Ginger. I'm going at the end of the year, towards like November, I think it is. And I also got the VIP tickets. So I'm going all the way in with Ginger later this year. <laughs> so uh, that being said, if I get a chance to take some pictures, uh, maybe get an autograph, something like that, maybe a shout out for the channel, I don't know. I'm gonna see what I can do. And um, if I if that can make that happen, it'll definitely go up here on the channel. Uh, so before I get started on this video, a couple of quick housekeeping things. First of all, thank you. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for um, being here on the channel, watching it with me and so forth. And also I like to pause my videos, just a fair warning kind of thing. Um, so if you're not a fan of people pausing videos and all that good stuff, like I get it, I, I understand. <laughs> um, what I'll do for you guys though, is I'll put a link to this video in the description box below. That way you can watch it all the way through. Uh, you know, just without me, which sounds kind of weird, but just do it with me at least one good time, <laughs> all right? And then of course, um, like, comment, share, subscribe, leave some more recommendations for Ginger or any other artist for that matter. Um, put it down in the threads below and I'll see what I can do to get to it as quick as I can. So with that being said, let's check out Perennial. Um, I will let you guys know if I've heard this song before, I'll put it in the description um, or in the title anyway. If I've heard it before, it's gonna be a review. Um, if I haven't heard before, it'll be a reaction. So we'll, we'll see here in a second. I'll let you guys know. Let's go. Thank you, Shin Jumi. Yeah. Well, with the next song, we must say goodbye to you. Oh. But rather not goodbye, but see you next time. Yeah, she's like, it's the last song of the set. We get a bad here. It's like funeral to me. A long song of grief. And not for what has passed. here for a moment i love the way he's hitting that bass with where he's tabbing the bass tabs and stuff like that you kind of get the extra um kind of rich tones and stuff out of it i love that like that um his name escapes me hit me with the bass player's name please and thank you but yo i like his bass playing style i really do 
And the drummer, like, he's doing the most out of that kit. Like, the the funny thing to me is, like, every time I see the drum player, like, I look at the size of his kit, and you could never tell. Like, honestly, you would think he'd have, like, a giant kit with all kinds of crash cymbals and toms and all that shenanigans, the way he's playing that thing. And you look back, and it's like, he's got, like, the baby kit, <laughs> you know. But I'm sure that's also, too, just to make sure that he's able to, like, hit everything he needs, his, his double pedals and all that stuff. And be close enough to hit the, the you know the symbols and all that stuff as, as you know as fast as he needs to, especially with the speed that he's playing. That you want to have that kind of stuff really tight and easy to hit without having to go all over the place. But I like this song so far. Like it's it's a real kind of groovy song. You know, got got your head nodding going on. Um, I hit the the <laughs> the subtitles for a second, trying to see if I could pick some words up. Not gonna happen. <laughs> so, but it's all good. It's all good. Probably here in a little bit, I'll, I'll put the words on this thing and go back through it. But, yo, but I'm digging the vibe of this so far. But let me go ahead and hit start back on this thing. We're going just a little bit, and we'll get back to it. And of course, Tatiana just doing her thing with, on, on the vocals right here. Like hit the song running too with the deep growls and all that. Yeah, that's that was dope. All right, let's get back to it. She's killing it. I just noticed something, and I was about to pull up the lyrics for the song, and I was reading through them. But I also realized I have reacted to this song before, just the video version of it. And um, I was pulling up to see when that was and why I don't remember it. It was literally like six months ago. <laughs> so I've heard the song. I just don't remember hearing it. So this is almost like rehearing it for the first time in a different kind of um, environment because I was looking at the video video um, like I mean the official video but definitely haven't seen it live so I'm going to go and rewind this a little bit because I, I was a little distracted trying to pull that up I was like I think I've I think I've heard this song before so I'll put that in the title this is basically a, a reaction slash review because I've technically heard this song before uh, I just don't remember it <laughs> it's just been that long ago uh and I say long ago, like it's a long time. It's not that. It's just that I've heard so much music between then and now. Like, honestly, that stuff kind of gets lost in the sauce. <laughs> so, but that said, it, it was, it was definitely enjoyable though. I know, I, I know I like the song, but what I came to do though, let me go back to the lyrics here a little bit. Uh, she says, um, here, let me, go, let me rewind just a little bit. Just let me go back a little bit. Let's get to the lyrics. Let's go. Ashes of my world. 
heard a lot of great things about you, but it's about our expectations, man. You are fucking amazing. And stay amazing. Thank you so much. And see you someday. Mwah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, yo, that was Ginger Perennial. Uh, let me go back to these lyrics, though. Let me pull these up. Goodbye. May we see each other uh, next time. So please come back to celebrate this festival of life. Then is now fly. Today you reach the point of no return. Now cry and then die. Tomorrow I will meet you and your cells restored. Annual. Okay. I, I think I remember this song because they're talking about um, the changing of seasons and stuff. Uh, was kind of the theme in here. And then um, let me go back to the lyrics. Up a little, back a little earlier in the song. Um, except exhausted nature is tragic and suicidal oh how spectacular she is when she kills herself death throws are slowly crawling to up to her toes as the last leaf is falling off her head here i'm here with her undressed with a few petals on my breast she shared opiates and let the landscape do the same i love your warmth but yet prefer to sleep in cold alone we fix our eyes up to the sky to see a flight send us farewell like come on man straight up poetry going on right there straight up poetic lyrics um but yeah i think i i think i um somebody had talked about that in the original posting of this is like it's really talking about the transition of seasons and how like nature will basically do things that are counter counter logical at times like it'll go through this whole process of growth and you know all this kind of stuff to kind of create life and then it changes to a cold season where literally nature is fighting itself and kills off all the plant life and stuff like that and it goes into a season of cold and that's all you have left but then eventually the cold gives way back to warmth and it's just a cycle it's a cyclical you know um chain of events that go through life and rebirth and so forth now that being said the way I look at seasonal stuff like that and how things work out, um, just from a logical point of view, is if you had eternal growth, not, and never a season where death comes in or cold comes in and, and breaks that off, you know, you have what they call overgrowth, and you can lead to oversaturation. And what happens is life can choke out other life that still results in death, <laughs> you know. Because certain, certain things or certain plant life would thrive or certain species would thrive and overtake other species. And that's happened because that's what causes extinction sometimes, you know. But when you have a season where, it, you know, the changing of the environment will lead to, you know, removing that intrusive life and kill it off, that gives a chance for other stuff to kind of flourish in that in that in-between time. And that just creates more of a natural balance of things versus an overgrowth or, or undergrowth of certain things. So at any rate, like I, that's why I like the poetry of the of the lyrics here, because she's really just kind of exploring that topic, you know, of uh, death, life and the, and even in, in a way rebirth, you know, how things are cyclical. So that I like. That's what I like. That's what I remember liking about that song. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm kind of curious to see what I thought about this. I'm going to go back and rewatch that video uh from what i did six months ago and just kind of compare it and i'll put a link to that video um at the end of this video actually be in my ginger playlist anyway i'll put it in the whole list that way you guys can go back and check it out and uh, let me know what you think uh, that's it i do like the live version it's definitely more of a so kind of slower kind of somber song com considering like granted it's got you know that kind of stuff going on but compared to say like pisces or something like that you know like this song right here definitely has more of a, a little bit deeper message um, behind the scenes. So at any rate, I, I really enjoyed the song. Um, I definitely can't wait till I can get into that crowd and give you guys my first hand reports. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be spinning around in the mosh pit or any of that kind of stuff, but I'll definitely give you guys uh, my report later this year. <laughs> so at any rate, y'all, I'm um, Marvin. This has been Smitty Reacts. I'm gonna get up out of here. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. And until next time, please. Take care of yourself. Be kind to one another. And I'll catch you guys in that next video. All right? All right. Peace.